Okay, shalom, shalom, kwam yasha Allah. Koholo yimla, yahawa bashim yawashai, bahashim or kahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akhwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachanan Waf is coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to touch on this article in the New York Post. It says, Groom Blast Bride for Cheating with Best Man in Scathing Wedding Speech. So, you know, once I was going through it, the title in itself, you know, um, when it comes to the nation of Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? You are the chosen people of the Lord thy God, which the world ignorantly calls, you know, all these different names, the Most High. But his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the true name of his son, our Savior, our King, in the scriptures is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. And we made a contract with the Lord. And we are like a bride to him. We are like a woman to him. And... We went, we went whoring after the, the, the idols of the other nations. We went whoring, just being, you know, just spiritually fornication, man, towards our Lord. So, you know, this, that kind of came to mind when I was kind of going through this. But, you know, um, I'm not going to play the video, but it's from the New York Post. It says, um, she, took the, she took the something borrowed portion of the wedding a little too literally. A groom who revealed his newly wedded wife had been cheating on him with his best man, got the ultimate revenge revealing his disloyal ways to their guests during his wedding speech the shocking um wedding drama was shared on the um okay it was a I guess a podcast or something like that who were in disbelief over the tale which they heard through a third party according to the podcast host the furious groom announced his wife's infidelity to all the guests by handing out photos of the bride having sex with the best man groom stands up and says just before i like to properly get started there's envelopes coming around now. If you could all open them up. Yeah, those are pictures of bride. Fuck the best man. So I'll be leaving now. George explained, telling the, telling the story in the clip. The, the groom then abruptly stormed out his entire family and left her to put the bill for the reception per the tales retelling. The bride's family paid for everything. Karma is a bitch. The host said karma is a bitch. The best man as well. Okay, so pretty much that's what you got. Um, let's go off into the apocrypha on this. And I was just reading in. Now, verse 25, Ecclesiastes chapter 25, the book of Sirach, also known as the book of Sirach and the apocrypha. It goes pretty detailed into women. Verse 26 goes off. I mean, chapter 26 as well. But. The woman having liberty to get abroad is, is a real serious thing, man, especially in the Americas, you know, and just throughout the earth in general. And that's that's a. Um, you know, just a part of Babylon, the great juice, man, that wine that um, America pushes out on the on the entire globe, that women are free. They can do what they want to do. You know, I don't need a man. You know, they kind of give them this attitude, you know, and, and these marriages don't last no time in the Americas, man. People are not even really going out here and getting married like that. I mean, still that, you know, that that mindset is still out here because, you know, you got a lot of um, these women that grow up, a lot of the Disney Channel type shit, you know, your Cinderella's and, you know, your beauty and, you know, beauty and the beast and, you know, just whatever this Disney throwing around. So women, you know, they, they still grow up and still, you know, in, in the back of their minds, they want that fairy tale type of marriage. But. Once it goes down, it's like it's downhill six months, six months or so later, man. Anyway, though, let's see, though. I want to get a few scriptures out of here. I mean, this this is a beautiful chapter. It can be read through all the way through. But let me start at verse 13. Let me get verse 13. I'm just going to just kind of maybe jump through it. Um, Ecclesiasticus 25, 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart. And any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. That that's saying that any type of wickedness, it's all kinds of wickedness out here. Any, I mean, you can have a motherfucker chasing you down with the gun. You can, um, you know, be carjacked. You can be sleeping in your house. Some motherfucker done broke in, got a gun in your mouth. Uh, cancer, losing an arm or leg. To 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 cancer, you know, it just you 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 name it. Any, it, it, let me get this back again. It says, "Give me any plague, but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness, 
but the wickedness of a woman. So 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 you would prefer to go through anything other than a woman, um, a woman's wickedness, man. Because a woman, man, she'll get down on you. You'll think that you can be with her for years. And, and, and next thing you know, she done told some other nigga that she dealing with your whole hookup. Oh, I got the numbers to the safe. I know what time he does this. I'm going to let you in the house. I'm going to let you through the back door. And, and, and you do this, 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 this. I'm telling you, man. Say, hey, matter of fact, I just was reading a story earlier with this lady. Let me see. Matter of fact, let me see. Might be able to still find it. I don't think I saved it in my hookup, but. Could have been another phone that I had, um, one of the other phones I normally do lessons out of, but. No, I didn't put it in here. But anyway, you know, just a regular story of, you know, wife. You know, she gets this uh, two two million. She takes out a two million dollar um, life insurance policy on his ass and, tr and and kills him. But, you know, it backfires on her. So she didn't get what, you know, was coming out of it. But th this is the type of wickedness of a woman, man. We've been seeing a lot more videos, a lot more news where we um, the women are poisoning her husbands. You know, this one guy, he was like he had to <laughs> he was just feeling sick all the time. He put a camera in the kitchen and this bitch is putting some shit in his, in his coffee, man. They arrested her ass. But I mean, come on. this And I'm talking about somebody he had been with for a long, long time. So it is what it is, man. Uh, let's see here. Verse 14, I can get that too. It says, in any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me. And, and a woman, she hates you if she's doing shit like that to you, man. In any revenge but the revenge of enemies. And she's an enemy. And, 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 you know, women, they'll get down and you could be, you know, you know, fucked up in a certain way. And her revenge, man, is, ooh, it's going to be far greater than yours, more than likely. Verse, um, verse 16, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. You'd rather dwell with a lion? You ever seen a fucking lion? Go on YouTube and watch some, some animal, um, um, um footages or, or documentaries or anything on a damn lion and see how powerful a fucking lion is, man. You'd rather dwell with a lion or a dragon? <laughs> you trying to tell me she's worse than a lion or a dragon? Golly, boy. It says, the wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among the neighbors. When he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. It's saying that all the wickedness in the world, basically, is little compared to what a, the type of w wickedness that a woman can do. That's, hey, that's insane. It says, let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Whoo. It says, as climbing up a sandy way, and I don't know if you've ever been to a beach or if you know what sand is like. Sand is not, you know, the scripture's actually talking about um, a house being built on a strong foundation. And, you know, or that Sandy, it goes into a parable of a Sandy foundation. And when the storm beat up against it, you know, the fall house, because it has no no foundation because of that sand, because that sand is just it's movable, so to speak. It says as the climbing up a Sandy way is to the feet of the age. So an old man trying to wipe, walk up a hill of sand. So is a wife full of words to a quiet man. It's just like that, that constant bickering, that constant talking shit, that constant, you know, it's just like, God damn, would you please shut the fuck up? You know, a lot of men go through, hey, I hear, hey, I, look, I, it's neighbors across the street from me that do that shit. It's neighbors on the side of me that do that shit. And I, be, I just be out because I'm outside right now. I like to chill, you know, in, in the summertime out of my garage and barbecue and stuff like that, man. And, man, these motherfucking women, boy, be cussing, fussing, talking all kinds of shit. I, 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 I mean, it, it's incredible. And I just be thinking to myself, like the water, how about Shimmy? I was shy that I don't have to deal with that shit. And I'm praying that I never will have to deal with that. Verse 21. This boy didn't kind of got froze. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. And that's a lot of the problems with our men, too. You let these women put on that makeup, they put on them damn wigs, they go into their sor sorcery mode, that wizardry mode, because she looks like a totally different person without that shit. 
You see her in a regular, hey, you, you know, if you're going out on a date with her, you know, and, and you know a lot of women take offense to something like that, but you have a right to see her as she is. Like, you know, let her know. I, I don't really, I'm not into all the makeup. I'm not into all the, it's, you know, let, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but uh, I prefer to see you naturally than to be dating you, you know, or going out with you two, three years or however amount of time, six months or whatever, then come to find out. That ain't even the person that you thought she was once you, you see her ass without all that shit on, man. It says... It's a lot. It says... Um, Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. Which pretty much going off into, you know, if a woman got it, you know, because there, there are some women out here that's got some wealth. They got some money, you know, and, and you got some what you call gigolos, some nigga that don't want to work anyway. But it's wise for you to have your own, you know, go and, you know, have your own job. Don't allow a woman to just be taking care of you while you're sitting around because she's going to be in control of your ass. You know, it's, you know, she can eventually just, you know, at any point in the game, she could throw you out of the crib, man. You don't want that problem. It says, a wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh in heavy continence, and a wounded heart. A, a woman that will not comfort her husband is in distress, maketh weak hands and feeble knees. So you're a woman's supposed to be a comfort to her husband, man, not a, a person that's going to, you know, fuck his spirit up, man. You see, it's a lot, and there's been a lot of um, domestic violence um, deletions out here as of late, too. These men, man, been been knocking, you know, their 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 spouses off, wives off, girlfriends off, man. It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. That's a big thing to say, man. So you women, man, y'all gotta humble yourselves, man. You come into this truth, you know, hey, get on that that path of trying to be pleasing to Yahweh, man. And one of the ways that you can be pleasing to Yahweh is you're being pleasing to your husband. That's if you got one, you know. Uh, verse 25, it says, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. And that's the problem with America. American women, even the young, even the young ones, man, they be, you know what I'm saying? They got, they, they all out just whatever. They out TikTok and they out, you know, Instagram, they out every time you look up, the picture is in a fucking, the phone is in their face taking a damn selfie with scadly, you know, with basically nothing on. That's a, you can you can scroll through your Facebook, any of these social media hookups. You can scroll through them, and all you're gonna see is ass cheeks and tits, with that fucking makeup on and them big ass eyebrows. And when you really think about it, it's like, goddamn, is that all she got to offer? Why would you go and fuck with somebody that's that's that that can do that? Cause she's not gonna get. And you know what, Jake? They meet these women like that, and then expect the bitch to change once you know they get with them. She's not gonna change. She's gonna she, she she's gonna leave you. You're going to get into some shit dealing with somebody like that. You did Jake become jealous. How did you think you got when you met her? She was if she was naked. <laughs> Come on, man. Verse 26, it says, if she go not as thou wouldest have her cut her off from the flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. And that's the point right there, man. So, you know, I just wanted to just chop it up on this real quick. And you give her ass a bill of divorce and let her go, man. If you feel like as if, you know, because we don't want to cause no one to. Sin. We don't want, um, 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 you know, to push our, you know, a woman into adultery or, or a man into adultery. You know what I'm saying? By leaving. But if a woman, if she's out here dealing with your homeboy, man, get rid of that bitch, man. You got you have every right to get rid of her, man. I, everything is on her. Everything is on her. All, all, all the, 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 the treachery of the Lord is going to fall on her, man, because you've done your part. You don't have to be with no woman that's just out here. She just, come on, man. That don't even make no sense. You get home, some nigga in the bed with her. And Jake be forgiving these bitches, man. You know? Jake let her, oh, baby, I'm sorry. I never, come on, man. Then she's right back texting him, the, the homeboy. Yeah, that nigga, he's soft. I, you know, I talk to him. He ain't going to do shit, you know. Jake, man, y'all got to grow a set, man. Grow a set, man. But with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Come here, Shola.